thinking about giving your PC a fresh start with Windows 11. In this step-by-step -step guide, we'll walk you through creating your own install media, doing a clean install of Windows 11, bypassing the Microsoft account setup, and a few tips to streamline your OS from day one. So let's get to it. For this Windows 11 install, we'll need a couple items to be successful. To start, we'll need an eight gigabyte or larger USB drive to create your Windows 11 installer. We'll also need access to a working computer with internet access to download the needed files. Now this can be the same PC you wish to freshly install Windows 11 on, or it can be a separate computer. Also, you may need a copy of your Windows 11 license key handy if this is a custom built or brand new PC. If you're wanting to reinstall Windows or install Windows fresh on your current PC, please be sure to back up all important data before you begin, as this process will wipe your storage drive. All right, let's grab the installer software we'll need. First, plug in your USB drive that you want to use for the installer. Next, head to the official Microsoft website and download the Windows 11 media creation tool. I'll toss a download link in the video description for you to use as well. Once at the site under Create Windows 11 Installation Media. Click Download Now to grab the tool. Open the installer and click Yes to allow changes to your PC. Next, we'll click Accept on the Usage Agreements. Here, you'll select your install language. I'll leave mine as recommended and click Next. Select what type of media you wish to create. For us, we want to make an installer USB drive, so we'll click Next. Here, you'll select the USB drive for the installer and click Next. The media tool will go out and download the latest version of Windows 11 for you and prep it for installation. Now that our installer is ready, let's get the Windows 11 install process started. Plug in your Windows 11 USB to the target PC we want to install Windows 11 on. If this is the same PC you downloaded the installer file on, just restart your PC and be ready to access your computer's boot menu. Otherwise, power on the target PC and be ready to access the boot menu. Now, we'll want to access our boot menu to select our USB drive. Usually, that's the F12, F10, F2, delete or escape keys at startup. Your BIOS may differ, so you may want to research what your brand PC or motherboard requires. Choose your install language settings and click Next. Select your keyboard setting and click Next. Select your install setup method. Click I agree, everything will be deleted, and click Next. Agree to the terms and conditions and click Accept. Here, we want to clean up or delete any old Windows storage drive partitions. You should be able to select your partition and delete the partition. If this is a new drive, you can select the unallocated space directly and then click Next. Now we're ready for our OS install to get rolling, so click Install. Your install timeline may be 15 minutes or two hours depending on your PC. It's different for everyone. Here, I've sped the install up for the video, but it was maybe only a 20 minute install process. And now we're ready for the final stages of setup. Select your desired country of origin and click Yes. Select your desired keyboard layout and click Yes. If you want to add another keyboard layout, do so, otherwise click Skip. Now here's a trick that you want to deploy so you're not forced to set up with a Microsoft account. When prompted to connect to your network, we'll do the following. On your keyboard, press Shift plus F10 to open the command prompt. Here, we'll type start ms-cxh colon local only and hit Enter. This brings you back to a screen where you can create a local account instead. Here, I'll just create a local lab user and click Next.
Now we'll just walk through the final set of preferences. I generally unselect all of these. You've now installed Windows 11 cleanly with no Microsoft account required. Let's go grab another useful tool and remove a little bloatware from Windows 11. Next, we'll grab a great cleanup tool called Tidy OS. Visit the GitHub website to grab the installer. I'll also toss a link in the video description. Click on the Tidy OS zip file and then extract the software. You can extract the software by right-clicking the file and selecting Extract All. Now let's open the TidyOS software and do some debloating. I like to select all the items in the Start section and disable them. Next, we'll do some deep loading of Windows 11 apps. There are some scripted software installers and tools in this section that you can look at. And there you have it. You've ditched the clutter and installed Windows 11 fresh on your PC. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped you install Windows 11 cleanly. If so, please smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more Windows tips. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.